All right. We're back again. It's day 10 of the advent of code. We've done nine days so far, right? That's not bad. Not bad at all. We're streaming early, streaming early today. We've got some visitors coming in. Um, but uh, enjoy. Oh, little Lenny is back. Woohoo! Hi, little Lenny. Uh, as you can see, my t-shirt is uh, a bit see-through today, but it, it's, it's green. It's supposed to be a Christmas t-shirt, but now I just blend in a bit more. Alright, let's see what we're going to do for day 10. Uh, okay, yeah, we were on some bridge, and we ordered the ropes, they all fell, okay. Back up river, okay, blah, 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 finish crossing bridge, if you, okay. Ah, so we got the communication device, put it out. Ah, uh, okay. Devices, video system, this is some kind of cathode ray to... It's green, a simple CPU that are both driven by precise clock circuit. The clock circuit takes at a constant rate. Oh my god, we're gonna be making another encode machine. Damn. Okay. The CPU has a single register X, which starts at the value 1. It supports only two instructions. Add X V takes two cycles to complete. After two cycles, the X register is increased by the value V. No op takes a one cycle to complete. It has no other effect. The CPU uses these instructions in your process input to somehow... Okay. Okay, let's just start by uh, writing the parser, right? Okay, new file. Example. Example. Small. Okay. Paste it, save it, load it. Module main where main IO main equals return. Okay, uh, we're gonna have a data instruction. Uh, uh, add x and an int value or no op. No op. Okay, now uh, let's put the right uh, language here. Language GHC 21. And uh, let's write the instance read uh, inst. Enter where a uh, reads prec uh, equals read. So let's import uh, import data now. This is text dot parser combinators dot reads read prec. Uh, now this one is going to be read p to prec. Okay, so read prec to P. Uh, yeah, this is read prec to P. Uh, pars. Where pars. Okay, let's see. We're not going to use the read prec because now we're not ignoring the. Text and our parser combinators. Read prep. Because I think it's just the same. Right? Oh. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's just lift. Reads prac. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna say read prac to be of lift parts. Read prac to P, and then it's gonna also have lift. Import text of parser combinators. Dot read P. 
where parse equals uh, so we're parsing one instruction do okay so uh, that's right uh, it's gonna be a choice of a, a parse addicts parse no up okay, so parse no up it's just a string no up parse uh, add x is gonna be a, a, a string no up and then a uh, skip spaces and then we are gonna say a uh, read frag uh, read as to p so where's this reads function from Text on read, yeah. Uh, reads prec. Uh, this is actually going to be read or just reads at each. Uh, uh, right, and we do this and we say uh, no up. Uh, we have to return no up and then here we say uh, add so add x over uh, and then read as to p dollar and now it doesn't like this uh, What is read track here? Uh, read track to S. Ah, this one works. Okay. GT and let's see if you do day 10. GT oh, day 10, day 10, the day jazz, and day 10. Okay, it actually returns. Now let's derive show here. Deriving show. And uh, let's say uh, go to the end of the file and say, uh, ah, do uh, read input example small into a uh, uh, where uh, read input. It's just a map and um, map read over and uh, no, let's go so it's f map map read dot lines over a uh, read file uh, it's like this except it's not gonna go to any it's gonna go to io of instru Dot read no parse. Let's look at the example here. Uh, parse no up. Ah, this one is supposed to be addicts. All right, we got the instructions uh, into usable format. It was quite fast, right? Now we have to write the uh, virtual machine, right? And then I figure like tomorrow we're gonna be adding more stuff to this. Okay, let's see. Uh, no up takes one cycle. That x v takes one cycle. Okay, so uh, uh, cycles. 
Minister to Int. Alex is two seconds and uh, seconds and no is what? Okay, these are the cycles for the instructions and we read them. Okay. Now let's define the virtual machine data VM. Uh, there's gonna be some state, right? State let's go. Uh, state monad yes, control monad state delay save. Okay, monad state. So what is the state? And uh, what is it supposed to return? Okay. Uh, let's say here type uh, type vm so okay let's say data vm state is equal to okay and okay so we definitely need to keep track of the current cycle is a vms Per cycle is an int, and a, so the current value of the X register. Uh, let's say registers is a map from uh, a char. It's uh, map from char to value, and let's just say it's an int. Okay. Um. Now we have to import data dot map dot map map import qualified data dot map map. Okay, now VM state. Okay, then we're gonna say a uh, type uh, VM. Uh, this is the VM monad. It's gonna be a monad state. Okay, let's just call it the monad state. So state T. Uh, ah. Okay, so the monad state here, VM, this is just the state monad uh, of VM state. Uh, this is from control monad at state. Dot lazy. Let's qualify this. Qualified uh, as read curve P, and then we say here uh, RP dot RP and uh, RP dot. Because we wanted to be using it. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> at the start of the first cycle, no, I'm sorry. Next is one. Okay, so next is one. Oh, okay. I have to define the initial state. Initial state. VMS. Uh, is a VM state. The initial state is equal to a VMS. Car cycle equals one. Registers equals map. Uh, this is gonna be a map dot from list uh, of uh, uh, X and one. Okay. Um, VM state, we have to read it become a little small. Okay, now let's write the execute function. Execute takes a list of instructions and a, a um, 
let's see. And we, what we have to do? Maybe unless the molecular value abstract is doing our execution. For now, consider the, consider the original strength, the cycle number multiplied by the value of x during the twentieth cycle, and there is forty cycle after that. Okay. I'm wondering if we should like manually just do like a cycle and then you halt for a little time or um, what we should do. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, let's just uh, so execute uh, it's gonna take a list of instructions. Let's say here, uh, task one. List of instructions to a list of, uh, we're gonna have a list of uh, time values and current exits. Okay, task one. Uh, and we are gonna say that this is like the, uh, this is gonna be like, it's gonna return this. Can I just say here type uh, so uh, VM monad is going to do return? No, it doesn't work like that, right? By the type of the return function, let's just say change well, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but why can't I? Uh, I would have thought that this one was. Uh, Okay, so this one is actually going to be, it's not going to be the type, so yeah, okay. So the state here, let's say task one, this is going to be state. Um, and we're going to actually have the VM state, and we're going to have the kind of the, the values here. Um, and it's going to return the uh, int comma int eventually. Okay, now it says uh, return expected uh, actual. Uh, right. Answers. Well, maybe it was okay before. Type vm equals state vm state. Okay, yeah, let's actually do it like that. So just to say VM, uh, you transit list of ins commit. Okay, now what are we gonna do? We are going to say a so xx state, initial value, final state, run state, uh, return value, and final state. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, so I just want to just get the state and we get the message. Okay, uh, so task one. No, okay, so exec. Let's write that. Uh, it's just instr and it gets the. Uh, so it's instr and a. And it takes a. a, a VM. Uh, a to VM A. Exec. No op. 
So I click no up and uh, st is equal to um, uh, and we say uh, modify because yeah, I don't actually return anything. So it's going to be modify and uh, let's go for the overloaded record dot here language uh, overloaded record record dot and there's the other one right language uh, let me see overloaded record update resume your journey oh okay now this is the new thing overloaded record update and I have to, uh, uh, record syntax and updates. <sighs> Works by serving the dot update expression to one of functions that you and get few. Uh, right. Uh, so can, uh, let's just see, uh, overloaded. Okay, let's just not do it. Um, then let's say, uh, uh, okay, so this one is do and uh, get. So uh, uh, we have a uh, VMS uh, uh, dot dot is get. So we get the current state and then we do set a uh, uh, VMS dot dot, uh, but cur cycle equals cur cycle plus one and it doesn't like this because oh my god okay. yeah and now it doesn't like it because ah record walk uh, i thought record walk because it wasn't gc21 Okay, so we get it, and then we set it. Uh, wait, so get and set. Uh, output. Output. Sorry. Let's actually go put. Put. Exec. Uh, Okay, now add x of v. Oh, I don't need a state here actually. Get and put. Uh, okay, but I can actually just write a modify. Uh, and then this one, uh, so it's actually. Yeah, okay, let's just write a modify function, right? A VMS. So we modify it, we say VMS goes to VMS cur cycle plus one. Cur cycle equals cur cycle plus one. Xx add xv equals a modify a modify and we go from VMS to a VMS a per cycle equals per cycle plus two a and then the a registers a is going to be equal to a, a, a modify a modify so map dot modify map dot alter map dot adjust uh, adjust oh yeah adjust map just adjust uh, plus v and uh, we're going to do it for x of uh, registers 
Okay, so task one instars. Okay, this is gonna be. Um, so we run one instar. We can't do map M. <laughs> so let's see. So task one. Okay, for the if you don't have any instruction, we just return empty list. A task one of uh, we have an instar and rest instars equals okay do. So we exec the instar. And then uh, we do uh, VMS get. Uh, and we actually say that. Uh, 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 and then we recurse and we say. Uh, we So we add to this one. We say. Uh, we say that it's the cur cycle. And uh, it registers bang bang uh, x x, and this is going to be f mapped over task one of instars. Uh, okay, let's just do it like this. Uh, uh, rest task one instars return. Uh, Get nature rest. What is wrong in here? Is it uh, registers? Couldn't match. Type in chat. Actually, type. Uh, why is this is a curse? Echo. Isn't it? Map chart. Uh, hmm. Okay, I still think it should be, we should be able to do like this. That's one instars. Okay, now we just have to figure out what's wrong here. A uh, registers has a, oh, yeah, no. Okay. Let v equals. Let me just get the type straight here. V has type int comma int. Yeah. Ah. Map dot bang bang. Right. Map dot bang. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. So we don't actually need this uh, V here. Okay. Now uh, return. Okay. So task one. Let's write this as observe. And. Instar, uh, so this one, let's call this one observe. <laughs> now we can execute the extraction and then we kind of execute, observe the rest of the ones. Okay, observe. Okay, and then we want for task one, we take the instructions and we get the list of int comma int and let's just say that for now task one is equal to observe uh, observe so we get the instars instars okay we observe instars and uh, so this is going to be a vm operation now and then we got to go xx state right uh, exec state, uh, exec state, and then we ah runs no eval state yeah. We do 
the val state and whatever this is and the initial state is initial state initial state let's see what task one gives you task one for the first one and we get the so the, it was first the first the signal was zero zero right yes and then it's for four and then it's uh, okay let's actually uh, I feel like we should be doing like initial uh, observation but okay uh, let's keep it like that okay so two one four four six minus one okay that's how it went right so it went from uh... and then we have example large. So, you know, we could also just say, ah, oh, three knobs in a row. We just bump up the signal. But I feel like we're going to be getting a lot more instructions. So let's just say, example, large. Okay, and now let's run it for example, large. Okay, so then we get the, uh, something more. But uh, it still it seems to work, right? Okay, then uh, during the 20th signal cycle, the register is value x. At the start, the first cycle, the first cycle, the first cycle x is 1. After the first cycle, the knob is very communication. So then at x3, during the third cycle, it's still 1. During the start of the fourth cycle, x might begin execution. During the fourth cycle, x is still 4. Okay, a. Uh, so the start of the next time, first cycle, during the first cycle, x is 1. After the first cycle, no, it's not doing nothing. Start of the second cycle, uh, 2. Yeah, okay, so at the start of the second cycle, 2. And then it's still 1, right? During the third cycle, x is still 1. After the third cycle, the other x is finished. x is still 4. At the start of the fourth cycle, so we start always starting... And during it's still, and then it's not until the next one we hit when it's actually been updated. Okay, then uh, let's see. So, on the twentieth cycle, uh, okay. So during the twentieth cycle, so that's gonna be. Uh, so that's gonna be like the. The first value that's a uh, no, the last value. Um, that's uh, less than or equal to twenty, right? Um, okay, let's see. So these are the values, and then we're gonna say take while. Okay, so because it on twenty, so when it's twenty starts, it's still twenty one. Yeah. And then when 60 starts, it's uh, 19. Yes. 100, it's 18. Yeah, okay, so it's doing it correctly. Okay, but we have to figure out this. Um, let's see the... Okay, let's get the... Uh, uh, interesting interest interest takes in the list of uh, int comma int okay so it's gonna be um interest uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna take a list of uh, int comma int ah just list of ints okay uh interests Interests. 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 Okay, uh, we start with the. It's gonna be interests. Uh, I'm. Uh, let's start at zero, and then we. Uh, and then we, so we take. So every every forty cycles, right? So twenty, and then every forty cycles. 
Okay, so interests. I'm really bad at writing this word. Interests. Zero. Where? Interests. Ah, uh, uh, oh, we start with 20. Interest n equals a. Um, So let's say here, this is going to be a span. Uh, and we're going to say that uh, the, like this is the uh, cycle and the signal. Uh, we don't care about the signal here actually. So span, so we're going to take, uh, uh, we're going to say uh, C less than equal to uh, uh, C is less than or equal to less than yeah less than or equal to n interests span is C is less than or equal to n and it starts at 20 and yes yeah, so we're always safe the first time of a a, a, a vowels okay so span let's say a okay this is gonna be where a, 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 a before and after okay equals span of vowels now we are going to uh, so uh, this is going to take a while you know, uh, while it's uh, okay and then we're going to say a, a so the interesting vowel is going to be the head of the list of reverse BS. Okay, so we're going to say I, and then column uh, interests prime on a N plus 40 uh, AF. Inter tests 20 uh, what is what is it? interests again i'm bad at it. interests interests inter okay i'm just gonna call this f okay f f and what's wrong with f here oh it's not f it's f right What's wrong with F prime here? Pretty much type int from int with int. Okay. Uh, somewhere the types are wrong. Uh, in, in, so it's gonna be int. Let's call it signals, okay? I'm better at writing that word. Signals prime. And it's just gonna be F prime inch to signals prime. Now signals prime has type int to int comma int to the list of ints. Uh, ooh, yes, that's no problem. There's gonna be the cycle, but we don't care about that. It's gonna be the value of the signal here. Okay, now let's print task one. Okay, so task one is gonna eval state, initial state, and we're gonna take the signals of that. Okay, let's see if this works. And uh, no one accepts the pattern. Oh my god. Ah, right, and we need some base case, yes. Signals uh, We don't care. Uh, an empty list. This is gonna be empty list. 21, 19, 18, 21, 16, 18, 17. 
21, 19, 18, 21, 16, 18. Uh, during the 20, 220th cycle. So what is the... Okay. And then it goes up to... It ends up being... Uh, I can't see. But it's, it ends up being a... Why do we have that 17 at the end? Sorry, I have too much stuff. So that's the final one is 17. Okay. Uh, because we take a while and then we do the last one. Um, let's just see here. Okay, and let's say A, A is A, C is A, larger than A. It's equal to n plus uh, oh. if c is equal to n, and then so I want to kind of uh, in that final case, I want to say. Uh, What do I do in the final case here? Um, so the final one is basically a, if C is less than or equal to, uh, is larger than or equal to N. So, so how do I say that? Because it might like start an instruction and then be like a really long instruction. Um, and so the final one doesn't say, okay, but 220. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, because I, I, I think this is wrong, right? Because I, I, I mean, for this one, it's okay. Because I know the last one will not be exactly. But I could have like a really long instruction that takes like more than 40 cycles, right? And then the value at the, that point until it finishes will still be 241. Um, okay, but here we also have... Uh, Let's just do uh, Let's just do uh, in it uh, in it uh, in it That's gonna be everything to the last one. Uh let's see if that works. It probably won't work, but let's see. Uh, or not, let's not have it here. Let's have it. Because um, the danger is that uh, the final one is like exactly the one. Uh, okay, but no, we can do better. We can do better. Uh, so the final value, uh, so at the value at the value at cycle 260 is actually a uh, still this right because we yeah, just keep it running uh, it will not uh, finish right but we're not we only want to mention me measure if it didn't stop okay let's uh, have this be int comma int okay uh, let's see and then let's so write this as yes Mm 
Let's just be smart about it like afterwards. Okay, and now let's a uh, No, I'm just gonna do it. I don't care about this. Uh units. Maybe we pay for it later, but map is new. Uh maybe we'll pay for it later, but let's see. Uh, yeah, let me just get the input let me see what the input ends up being like whether the final one is kind of the same case or what ah it's only 110 okay it's not that hard okay but really So short the input is. Yeah, okay, but it's the same. Okay, so let's keep this. And let's just say a product. So the product of uh, the example Part of the example large is four three four six seven w ah sum ah okay no okay yeah I have to right during the six year cycle register X has the value nineteen so the signal strength is sixty times so. okay so I have to take the a uh... actually I have to take the uh... So we do have to look at these, okay. Point. No, we're not gonna map the second here. Uh, okay. Do 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 Okay, now let me do uh, some trick here. Uh, let's do a map. So let's zip this with the list 20, 40, 80, dot, dot. Uh, What is it? What is the problem here? Uh, 20, 40, 80, and then 1, 2, 3. That doesn't work. That one works, right? 2, 4. Uh, oh, okay. I felt like I could uh, do the step. Uh, uh, let's go list enumerate in the list. And uh, you don't even know where I'm from. Okay, maybe I can't do it that way. Uh, what is the problem here? Enum from then. Oh, this, uh, okay, maybe there's not a comma here? Ah. Okay. This is gonna be infinite. Okay. So we just have to do like this. 
2040. What the hell is the problem? Dot task. Okay. 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 You run it. So 20, 40, 80, uh, 120. Uh, Uh, wait, no, it's 20, and then it's uh, 60, and then 100, right? 20, 60, 100, yep. 20, 60, 100, okay, 140, 180, 220. And what if I don't do the init here? Then we get the... Uh, uh, 260 and uh, uh. okay uh, we're still gonna keep the unit yeah I know it's a hack but okay and uh, now let's uh, map s and d one more task one before we do the sip and now let's do a uh, sip with multiplication and then we do 420 oh nice 100 11, 40, and then okay and then we do the sum of this let's uh, copy this here So it's 13140, uh, let's see if this 1480, 60 is uh, the correct one for task one. All right, we've got task one. Let's go. I hope part two is not too bad. Seems like the X-Ray guitar controls the horizontal position of a sprite, specifically the sprite that appears to be wide, and the X-Ray sets the person button in the middle of that sprite. Uh, sprite three pixels. This is the there's no setting for a position. Like the CP, the CRT is closely tied to the clock circuit. The CRT draws a single pixel during each cycle, representing each pixel of the screen as a star, as a hashtag. Here are the cycles during the fit towards the fit and rise. First and last pixel in each row are drawn. So by carefully timing the CPU instructions and CRT drawing operations, you should be able to determine whether the sprite is visible the instant each pixel is drawn. If the sprite is positioned such as one of its three pixels. Uh, Render the image given by program. What eight capital letters appear on your CRT? Can you see anything here? I can't. Is there a. Like in this. I don't know. Let's see if we get something from the input. But we should be getting this from the. Uh, uh, larger example. Okay, sprite position. Uh, okay, start cycle one. Begin execution at X. During cycle one. CRT draws pixel in position one. Okay, precision zero, yeah. Why it's position zero? Position one, position two, position three, position four. Wait, so when does it draw? CRT draws a single pixel string, representing each pixel on the screen as a hashtag. Ah, okay, so we do 1 to 40, and then 41 to 80, 81 to 120. Okay, uh, cycle 240. We end up at cycle 240. How do we?
Ok, je vais aller là. Ok, anyway, I think we... So, let's start with task 2. We, we at least do, got the uh, task to... Uh, go instr to... In... Instr... In... E instr to... Uh, int, comma, int. Right, so this is... We don't have to actually look at the instructions, right? Because uh, we already know how to run them. So task 2 equals this. Observe uh, instars. So now let's uh, print example to large task two. Okay, so these are like the, all the value changes. Okay, controls a horizontal position specifically that are three pixels wide, and the X register sets a horizontal position of the middle of that sprite. Uh, okay, so that's why. So it starts off at one, and then we draw like hashtag. Okay, that's why it starts off like this. Uh, right. Okay. So it's always like drawing, and then we're like moving the stride during drawing. Okay. Now uh, let's split this up into so it's the cycle zero to forty, then cycle forty-one to eighty. Okay, so it's like always a 20, 40 cycles of 40s. Okay, so let's uh, reevaluate these signals here. Um, oh, let's uh, write uh, uh, signals prime. Okay, signals uh, prime. Now we're going to start at zero. Oh, we're just going to do. So, zero, so we're going to get signals from zero to 40. Signals. Uh, okay, let's just actually not do it like that. Let's just have this signals function here. Okay, and then this one just becomes a signals prime, signals twenty. No, and this one also becomes signals. Okay, and then this one is unneeded. Uh, and now we're gonna go signals zero. No, oh, no. Um, so we go zero forty. So we go zero to forty. Um, okay. Now we need to do something for zero. Ah, it doesn't actually start at zero, it starts at one, I'm sorry. Um, but that doesn't work still. Because the first one is... Oh, okay. No, okay, this is not the same function at all. Sorry. Um, so, between... Uh, so, between... Takes an int and a... In comma int and returns an in comma int between uh, equals between uh, and then the end this is like a breadth length between prime of zero where between prime x is equal to uh, of, of vowels between take a uh, Vowels. Okay, between. So if it's empty, it's empty. Vowels. If, however, it's not empty, if it says between prime, uh, so this is the current value C, vowels equals uh, take. So you're gonna go span, uh, where span. Uh, where bf af equals span and this is gonna say a uh, uh, cycle it's, uh, this, this is gonna be cur a 
you see what is this cycle and value you still see click on whatever and goes to so uh, c is less than equal to curve this is like the uh no right uh, c is less than equal to curve plus n of else uh this is gonna be bf bf and then a between between prime between prime of a between and then prime and then we have curve plus n uh, will this like hit an infinite thing or uh, not it takes until it ends yeah yeah okay and then uh, af and then this is because it complains because yeah it takes a list of ints and chunks it uh between uh, 40 okay uh, this is a list, a list of ints now uh, and this is uh, map map M print and okay so these are the changes until 40 and then there are the changes between 41 and 80 and these are the changes between 81 and 120 and then these are the changes between cycle 201 and no, I don't get starting cycle. Now we have to. Now we have to. Uh, uh, okay, let's just. Now let's write the draw function. Okay. And then we just chunk it up at 40. Okay. Uh, now let's write the draw function. Okay. The draw. Let's actually. Let's not do it like this. We, we don't have that between. The draw just takes a list of int, comma, int. And uh, returns a string. So draw. This is the curve. Uh, okay, this is the current value, and we're just gonna go curve mod forty. Okay, current value, uh, and then this is the uh, empty list. Uh, is just. Empty. So draw. All right. Uh, let's see. Now draw cur and and then we have like the current value on top. Uh, cycle value. Well, like, like like cycle when the next change will happen. And we start with zero and one. We'll add zero and one to this uh, draw function. Uh, 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 uh. Pixel, let's call this pixel. We don't actually care about it here. Uh, rest. Now. So these are the current value, current value, yeah. Ah. Let's call, then we have to have the current value as well. Uh, CB. Uh, CB. Oh, let's go uh, cycle, and then this is update. Let me see some messages are being sent. Oh. Okay. Uh, yes, CV. Okay, now. Uh, let's see. So we're with the current pixel. Cur P. Okay. 
And we want to see... Okay, so we're drawing the current pixel. Okay. Um, now we take like the... Uh, so where? Okay, let's say uh, where. Screen pause is equal to current P modulus 40. Okay. Now, uh, so that's the screen position. And then we're going to say a, a, a output is equal. So if a, a, if a ABS, so if the difference between screen pause and a, the current the current and the current value is a, a so if it's like at the current value or it's one to the left so if this is less than two then we draw hashtag else dot okay and, and so they do Okay, uh, 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 so let's see here. Uh, uh, wait, let's let's be. So this is not actually current value. So this is gonna be CV prime. CV prime is equal to uh, if curve p less than equal to uh, if let your curve p. So if we're if if we hit if we're hitting the update, then we do if curve p equals cycle. Then a a a a up D else C V. Okay, now and then we check the screen pause on the current value prime and then else okay. Uh, cycle copy then up D else okay. And then a, a N V S is equal to a, if copy equals let's call this C V. Yes, a uh, CV prime, VS prime is equal to if curve P. So if we're hitting the update, uh, and then we have to do then this is rest. Then uh, this is a uh, uh, then it's new values up D, and this is rest. Else it's CV comma VS, and the output is that. And then so this is going to be output concatenated with raw cv prime uh no curve p plus one okay and then the uh, we will have the current value is one and we have cv prime and vs prime uh just complaining Draw minus three arguments, but it's uh, okay. Yeah. So we have the current pixel and the current value, and then this is what is this? Current pixel. Ah, current pixel, current value, and then the list. And this is a uh, output. So I'm not entirely sure that I'll get the. Uh, that I'll get the uh, 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 output. Let's actually make it uh, this output put plus. Okay, so if then okay. Okay, and we also want to add a kind of line breaks if screen pause is equal to 40 
we have output we have a output and then it's uh, let's say uh, next and then next is equal to uh, if screen pause equals zero and then there's an a So this is going to be output and then uh, if screen pause equals zero and then dash and slash and color next else and just next okay let me know see Put trace one, okay. And then we're gonna say put string ln. We're gonna say task two, and we're gonna say a put str ln of draw. And we're gonna say the current pixel is zero, current value is one. And then whatever the instructions say. We do get the same picture. Uh, no, wait. Ah, oh, we seem to have like one in the beginning. Uh, we're missing one in the end. No. Seems like we're off by one, maybe. I think we're off by one. Ah, oh, a new follower. All right, Veranos. Yes, Haskell is the best. Eh, uh, no, this one's completely wrong. Doom, 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 doom. I feel like I'm. Uh, I was more correct before. Ah, uh, maybe it should be screen pause equals one, and then we do it. No, I think it's definitely zero. Maybe I shouldn't start. Maybe I should start at uh, one. Well, I'm starting at one here. Uh, I feel like I. I mean, it's the same picture almost. Except, uh, except not. Hmm. I think maybe I should not up. So I should not update the cycle. Ah, maybe. Yeah, I should not. I probably should check CV here. So it's going to two and three and 
let's actually just I want to see what it says for the input hmm. but I mean the pictures don't match so we're not doing the right thing So, like, what is happening here, right? Like, why is this... Uh I think starting at one is correct. Uh, so it's hashtags dot dot hashtag hashtag dot dot. But then it goes like um, yeah, like what's going on here? I think this is something about the. During cycle, okay, CRT draws pixel in position zero. Okay, begin executing at X15. Position zero. Okay, maybe it's supposed to be. current pixel was shifted by one okay so now we get something that looks like letters right uh, let me see uh, but the letters at the end are still wrong so uh, let me see this one should be one maybe no uh, it should not be like that. Uh, ah, and I think I draw begin drawing at zero. So it says C set to so G set E H U R K. What eight capital letters? So G said E H U R K. So and the first one ah R. Ah okay. So all of these should actually be here. Now how do I? What do we shift? So we are uh, we are actually. We are shifting one too early. Let's see. I think this one should be a forty. No, thirty-nine. Yes. R G said E H U R K. R G said E H U R K. All right. Just found some nice block charts. Uh, ah. Right, so apparently you can compile check for a lot of errors exceptions. That is exactly correct, Veranos. We have a um, we have a lot of. Uh, let's see how does this print. Uh -huh. Now let's go to the background. This is why we have the stream, you know. We get uh, we get extremely good feedback. Ah, okay. 
All right. But what if I just have space, actually? Uh, okay, no, but this is kind of more like a background. Yeah. All right. Thank Crazy Wolf. Okay. All right. Ah, space looks nice. Crazy Wolf is the one giving us the... The... Uh, he's the stylist of the channel. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is quite readable, right? Yeah, this whole hashtag thing was... Uh, not the best. But I wish we could make them, like, full width. Let me see. Full width Unicode block. Full width with Unicode. A full box. This one maybe? Because okay, so this one is like half held, right? Yeah, we're almost there, but I still, like, I would like, like, I don't want any space between. Uh, there we go. All right. I need space because my editor is streaming it, but you are right. Nice, looks good. See? We have official, uh, we have official confirmation from the uh, uh, Unicode box art channel. We have official confirmation from the stylist. Ah, you think, okay, but anyway, now we have the draw function and it, it works, right? Uh, hopefully, so. So we've been working with this signal processor, right? And now we've been, uh, now we've been, uh, we've been working with it two days in a row, a couple of days in a row, right? So I think what we're gonna end up with, uh, you know, what I would have done though, I would have enjoyed something more meaningful here in the example. I can't see anything from this picture. Um, Okay, uh, so we're because now we have the cycle counter, we have the reading book, now we have the VM state, and we did a nice parse, modify, exec, observe. We observe changes, right? I think that's also one of the tricks. Uh, we're just observing changes uh, in the state because those are actually the ones that matter. We could have also just. Uh, kind of drawn while we were executing but yeah this seems fine all right let's add this get add d10.hs input example star star get status get commit em d10 get push this is all available on github how long does it take to solve one admin of code a uh, angular developer good question so, like, I've been recording the streams, right? Um, and, and I put them out on a YouTube playlist. And uh, we can actually just uh, have a look. YouTube, treat low. Uh, let's have a look at the channel. Playlists. And it'll go 2022. You that the growth has plenty of fruit. Too much of Maddie. Uh, yeah, see? Also, yeah, day nine is not actually out yet. Uh, but it will, oh, it will be out in like half an hour. Because I have to delay it by 24 hours. So, we see here that it's a, you know, video one uh, is like half an hour, right? And then it's like, Half an hour, half an hour, and, you know, and then an hour, and then an hour, and then 40 minutes, and then two hours, and then an hour, and then two hours yesterday night. And today we were like an hour and a half, right? So 
it it's really different. It's really it's ba like sometimes it's just really hard to parse the problem to get working on it, and then the solution is easy. Sometimes you just have to work, and then um, sometimes yeah, you just get stuck, right? So you're like doing something like that was like the two hour one yesterday. We were um, we had the right solution for the longest time, but what happened was that. Uh, we uh, we took a <laughs> we took a long time to convince ourselves that it was actually uh, correct, and then we ran it. We kind of gave the right answer, but we didn't run it. We just kind of yeah. so yeah. I would say like between half an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. If you're not chatting, if you're not like constantly monologuing about it, maybe it takes. Uh, I think it takes not as long, but uh, it's also fun to be able to talk about what you're doing there you know uh, and some interaction all right but uh, that was day 10 hey uh, I got some visitors coming in so I will leave you uh, for now um, let me print that December again. yeah I'm gonna leave you now get ready for visitors tomorrow will not be as early we're gonna stream at like uh, uh, six o'clock European time because yeah I have visitors they come now they leave I set everything back up boom anyway thanks for tuning in today uh, I have a feeling like it's gonna get harder and harder and harder now we're at the point where it's like oh, okay we can do it in an hour but then you know we usually like day 14 or 15 it's like boom extremely hard uh and here we got away with kind of not modifying the state too much but like you know we did do uh, like a map of registers because i know they're gonna add more registers that's what's gonna happen tomorrow that's always how it happens anyway thanks again for tuning in and hope to see you tomorrow right ask questions why do we do it this way in haskell um what is the intuitions i try to give you some hints but yeah yeah i hope it's uh, i hope it's enjoyable all right thanks a lot and uh, yeah hope to see you tomorrow bye bye